We'll check in with Charlie Belcher. What you up to this morning? Good day. I'm in Turpin Springs hanging out with uh, some cool cars, actually. But boy, it's that, um, it's sticky yeah. outside. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's no longer pleasant <laughs> outside, <laughs> even at 6.47 a.m. It's, uh... Yeah, you can, like, feel the moisture in the air. It's like 77 degrees like outside right now. That's more. 77? 77 yeah, degrees. Is. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right, not complaining. That's, you know, we gotta have these sticky mornings to enjoy those uh, winter mornings we have. Hey, I, did you... Uh, I know you're a sports fan, mm -hmm. pretty much. You, you and Lucas go to uh, Rays games, and I know you follow the Bucks. Yep. Uh, soccer at all? Yeah, less so. Football, as they call it overseas? Less so. What's that? L less so than other sports. Well, the last couple of years, I've really gotten into this English Premier League soccer. Uh, it's it's it, cause it's fun because the games over here come on Saturday and Sunday morning. So you watch it in the morning, and yeah. then you start watching college football or other stuff in the afternoon. Anyway, it was the, I've been paying attention this is the last couple of years, and it was the best story this year because there's this little club called Leicester City. And the way it works over there, you're, you have the table, and if you're not one of the top teams, you're relegated to the to the subdivision of league play, and you got to earn your way back up. Like, like if you played in the NFL, and then mm -hmm. if you didn't have a good enough season, and you were like the Detroit Lions, suddenly you got to play in the uh, Arena Football League for oh. a year before you can come back to the NFL. So that, so that Leicester City, and they've been around like a uh, hundred years or so, they've never won anything. And they've been always down at the bottom of the table. Sometimes they're relegated, sometimes they come back up. They won the whole thing. It was, it, it was finally wow. settled last night because two other teams that played made it mathematically impossible for anybody else to beat them. So they won. They were 5,000 to 1 odds oh to win gosh. the English Premier League at the beginning of the oh. season. So a $20 bet pays over like $100,000. Oh, my it's gosh. It's crazy. 5,000 to 1. And people, you know, diehard uh, Leicester City fans put the bet in every year. It's it's crazy. It's such a big story over in England, and such a such a fun story of triumph over uh, adversity, and you know against all odds. Yeah, it is fun. If, you, if you're into the sports world at all, just Google that. Read some of those articles. Look at some of the video yeah. of those partying in Leicester City. It's kind of fun. Oh, I can appreciate uh, that. We're gonna have fun this morning too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, getting you ready for Saturday, which is a big car show in downtown Tarpon Springs. We got our own car show here this morning. You don't have to go anywhere. You just have to stay tuned. Car shows for charity. They're going to drive away breast cancer. Eighth annual. Tell you all about it. We'll look at cool cars and we'll have a good day. Yeah, sticky good day in Tarpon Springs this morning. Isn't it funny about car enthusiasts? They don't care how early your live shots are. They'll always show up in droves with all their cars. Yes, they do. They love to show their proud of their cars. All right, Char Charlie, thanks so much. Have fun. <laughs> love that at the end of the scene, they're all asleep in the car, and he's just going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Parliament, <laughs> Love that. Oh, I love those movies. Uh, all right, uh, wax, check. Clean car, check. Fuzzy dice, check. Comfortable seat, check. Looks like a car show. That's all you need for a car show. You need a place on the sidewalk. You need some fuzzy dice. Uh, and oh, yeah, a cool car helps as well. Car, ca uh, cars for Charity. That's the name of the group. I remember everything else but that. Uh, driving Away Breast Cancer. Big, big car show happening this Saturday in downtown Tarpon Springs. Going to tell you all about it as we have a good day. How's it going out there with all those cars? Speaking of driving. Yeah, whenever I enter a roundabout, I just squeeze the wheel and close my eyes. Is that bad? <laughs> That's probably bad. Maybe I, maybe I should pay attention more. Uh, yes, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous morning. A little, little hot this morning. I'm complaining about the heat while I drink my hot coffee. Not smart. What is smart is coming down to Tarpon Springs this Saturday for a free car show. Cost you 20 bucks to show off your car, but free to come here and enjoy them. And this pink is an appropriate color. I'll explain why when Good Day Table Bay continues. Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Tarpon Springs this morning where this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., you're going to see a great car show. Car shows for charity. Suzanne's been doing it for eight years now. Eight years. Since the eight eighth years. annual uh, car shows for charity. Drive away breast cancer. Absolutely. That's absolutely. what you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Registration is from 8 to 10. The very unique thing about car
Star Show's fraternity is that we are a 100% volunteer organization, and every dollar that's raised that day goes back to the charity. And we are very proud to support USF Breast Health, which also focuses on research, treatment, and patient care, which is the whole package, which was, we know was what we need to do. Absolutely. I love it. And, but it is free to come out and enjoy the car show. Absolutely. $20 to show off your car if you pre-register, $25 Saturday morning if you register on site. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can go to, uh, registration is still open, and you can go to CS the number 4c.com and it's right there on our homepage for its pre-registration. Actually, make it even easier for you. Go to fox13news.com because that's easier to remember. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, we'll have the website up there so you can click and link to it. Fox13news.com and so people, it'll be Tarpon Ave. We're on Hibiscus just off Tarpon Ave. Right. Just a few cars but this will be, how many cars do you expect? Uh, last year we had 256 um, so that's what we would expect again between 256 and 300 cars is our, our max I think is about 300 cars. Wow. We are privileged that the city of Tarpon Springs allows us to close the streets here because that's a big deal. So we yes, we will be closed. Tarpon Avenue will be closed. Hibiscus, Safford from alternate nice. 19 to ring. Uh, registration is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's and just going to be. Fun. And, yep, and the show will be here, and awards will be about 3.30. Yeah. Nice. Exotics, classics, muscle cars, you name it, it'll be here. we got a little mini preview for you this morning, our own little mini Charlie's World Car Show this morning, too. Don't have to go anywhere. Stick around and have a good day with us. Let's get to Charlie Bell. Sure. Good morning. Good day to you. Yeah, I'm in Turpin Springs this morning where they're getting ready for the big car shows for charity. Drive away breast cancer car show this Saturday. Free to come out and see all the cool cars. And uh, car shows, you think about the muscle cars. Well, this was the car that caught the muscle cars. Look at this, 1971 Lincoln Mercury Indiana State Police car. I love the single light on the roof. I love that. And it is authentic because this man is a former Indiana State Trooper and that that was his car the first day on the job. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Stick around, everybody. We're having a good day at Turpin Springs. It's your chance to check out some very cool cars and help out a good cause at the same time. Charlie Belcher is giving us a sneak peek at this weekend's charity car show in Tarpon Springs, and that's coming up next. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. We're in Tarpon Springs this morning. This Saturday, 10 to 5, free car show. All through downtown. $20 if you want to pre-register and actually show off your car. Or $25 to show off your car day of and get it judged. But free to come out and just drool and kick the tires a little bit. Well, ask permission before you kick the tires. <laughs> uh, yeah, I try to learn something every day, and I've learned something already this morning. Uh, first of all, that's the classic DeLorean, made famous, of course, in Back to the Future. The stainless steel car, uh, famously uh, designed by uh, Mr. DeLorean, who got in a little trouble with some things at one point. Uh, and that never quite, the car never quite went anywhere. You love it, right? I love it. It's a great car. Is it a good car? It's a fantastic car. It gets a lot of looks. Now, what I didn't know is, okay, and I also love the GTO. Gene, tell me about uh, this, the Judge here. What year? This is a 1970 Orbit Orange GTO Judge. And um, it's a 1970 with a uh, 455 four barrel judge package on it, ram air, vacuum operated exhaust, antenna in the windshield, really revolutionary for its time. Now, what I didn't know, who designed that car? John DeLorean. Wow. He created the GTO, and the last thing he did at Pontiac was create the judge before wow. he went a few years later to create. The wonderful DeLorean. Wow. <laughs> you know, I guess probably car enthusiasts know that, and they're all going, Belcher, you're an idiot. You didn't know that. Uh, but I, I did not realize that DeLorean uh, developed the GTO. Well, what they uh, like to say is that when he was young and immature, he had this car, and when he <laughs> aged and got more yeah. style, he got this car. Yeah, it's car, all good. Yeah. yeah. All car pickers love to give each other the business. Their car is always better than the next one. I want to end with this one. This muscle car has been... Fully restored, this Firebird, and it, uh, uh, come right here so the sun's on your face. Okay. Tell me, uh, this was a labor of love. It's a um, total frame-off restoration. It belonged to my dad. This is what it looked like. It was in Indiana. And after my dad passed away, my stepmom wanted to throw it in the junkyard. It took up too much space in the driveway, and I said, I have a vision. I think we can do something with this car. Sat in the driveway for a year. Took a year to restore, and I've been driving it now for two years, and I do car shows. Tell me what it is. It's a 69 Firebird, Pontiac Firebird. Wow. 400 engine, 
Um, I've done a little bit of things here and there, put a new carburetor on it. I just love doing car shows and hanging out with the guys, and I've learned so much about cars. I've learned how to take the breather off, fix the float, got stuck, and I'm enjoying it. Men everywhere <laughs> falling in love. But I can hear the men falling in love hearing you talk I about that. Tell my husband, like, you're a lucky guy. Where'd you find this girl yeah. that loves cars? Yeah, tell them to hold on to you because the men are everywhere falling in love with you. There you go. We're just getting started giving you a little preview. Remember, the show is this Saturday, 10 to 5, downtown Tarpon Springs. You can't miss it. Uh, and we'll, uh, get a little, we'll get our muscle on. we got some Corvettes down there, some exotics. And we'll yeah. car show on Good Day Game Away. Then get your muscle on. See you later, man. Well, if you put the word out you're going to have a car show, uh, the Corvette Club's going to show up. I will tell you that, and usually in force. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. We're in Turpin Springs today, right on Turpin Avenue. Turpin Avenue and Hibiscus Street, to be exact. This is where the car show will be happening. Car shows for charity, driving away breast cancer. Starts at 10 a.m. on Saturday, goes till 5 p.m. It's absolutely free to come out here and enjoy the cars. $20 to pre-register to show off your car if you want to be judged. $25 to register your car for the show day of. But free to come out here and enjoy it. Jack is here to tell us that, boy, this Corvette Club, they put the word out, y'all are there. We sure do. We, we really support this show. In fact, we're in charge of all the parking now. We've been with this group since they started. That we work with them so much, Suzanne actually went out and bought a Corvette to join oh, our club. Oh, is that right? <laughs> see, they're so competitive, you groups. Are, see, see, oh, Suzanne has a vet, not a Mustang. Uh, yeah, uh, she's still got her Mustang. Okay, yeah, she's got yeah, both. Yeah. Suzanne has to keep everybody happy. Yep, yep. Uh, well, as we look through these, what is it about the Corvette? Well, I tell you, it's... It's as sharp as ever, and I don't care whether it's in the 60s model or, or a 2016, it's just sharp. Yeah, it's just Corvettes are the American icon of the American sports car. You know, it's just just a certain breed of car. It's, it's always stayed the way it was originally built, a two-seat sports car. It's never changed from that. Yeah, you know what, you're right. It is what it is, unapologetically. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a tight ride. It's going to be low to the ground. You're going to feel the car. Oh, yeah, you feel it. Right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. but it, it, it's not supposed to be a... It's not supposed to be a luxury ride. Right. That's right. Right. It, it's, it's a car to get you there quickly. Correct. Right. <laughs> I love it. How many do you have with yours? This is my 6-1. Wow. So, and I, I love it. Wonder, What's that? Suzanne told me to also mentioned that it's going to be a live auction at the show. Oh. And three giveaways all day long. She forgot to tell you that. Oh, she did. What are we... Uh, what's the live auction? What I don't know what the know? items oh, are. Okay. <laughs> Not a car. We're not no, not a car. car. Not a car. Okay. Not right. a car. That would have been important. She would remember that. Uh, all right, that's good. There are all sorts of festivities surrounding this event. I love this thing, right? This is so pretty. What year is this again? 14. Yeah, 2014. I, because my favorite, I don't want to offend any cars, but I love that classic Stingray look. Yes, you know I do I mean? too. Yeah. The lines on this car are just so sexy. Yeah. It just. <laughs> See? She knows. The color is awesome. <laughs> In fact, this, 19, this 1977. There's another Stingray right there. 76. This 1976 Stingray. This is what I remember as a kid when I first started becoming aware of cars and girls and all that stuff that happens when you're in a, about six or seven years old. Uh, maybe a little early. Okay, cars came first. Uh, this, is, this was the Corvette on the streets then. Yeah, it's my favorite body style. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, well, how long have you had this one? I've had it about 10 years. Nice. My wife found it in a Walmart parking lot and um, needed some repaint. So I went down to Home Depot and got a spray brush and went for it. Wow. That's really sharp. Uh, it would still ride well and yes, treat you good? Oh, yes. Runs well. The interior's all original. Car's pretty much original except for the rims. Uh, they're um, from the period. They're magnesium, but other than that, uh, it's pretty well stock. Nice. Well done, sir. Well done. Love it. All right, we've drooled over the vets. Uh, we're going to get our muscle on in the next one a little bit more. We're going to uh, talk to the Mustangs. We, we, we have to separate the Corvette Club from the Mustang Club. We don't want any rumbling going on this morning, so we'll put them in different segments. When we come back, it's all about little Mustang power. Stick around, everybody, and have a good day, Tampa Bay. And, uh, Charlie Belcher, uh, never an attitude, ever. <laughs> uh, you liar. <laughs> Lying on television, Russell Rose. Uh, when you think muscle, some people think cars. I think about the Incredible Hulk, because I'm a comic book nerd. But look at that. We'll bring the two together. It's the Hulk. M Hulk smash. But do not, do not, we won't smash this car. No, no Hulk smashing. Well, but uh, they do want to smash out breast cancer. And that's why cars, car shows for charity, 
Drive Away Breast Cancer has a car show here in downtown Turpin Springs this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're catching up with the Mustang crowd when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Where's Charlie showing off a little muscle this morning? Some muscle cars and all to honor women. It's the annual Breast Cancer Car Show. We're talking about that next. <laughs> Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Turpin Springs. Now, I was impressed when he told me that his Shelby GT had 350 horsepower. That is until I found out that this Roush supercharged, Roush charged Mustang has 670 horsepower. Wow. The Mustangs will go. By the way, by the way, shout out to all of these lovely businesses on Hibiscus uh, from Sweet Elves Bakery and all of the world and Timeless Treasures for uh, letting us be in front of their place. And I should also tell you, First Friday has become a big deal in downtown Tarpon Springs. First Friday of every month. Come down here and see what's happening. And then, of course, this Saturday, I've got the uh, Car Shows for Charity Drive Away Breast Cancer event. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's free to come out and see all these beautiful cars. $20 if you pre-register to show off your car. $25 to register the day of. Joyce is here with the with the Mustang Club. What do you guys call yourselves? Mustang Club of Tampa. Well, that's a good thing to call yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, like the Corvettes, boy, if, if you're a Mustang owner and you fell in love once, it was a, a love affair for life. Absolutely. It's what a is, family. What is it about those muscle cars that get people going? Uh, it's just, you know, it's overall car, all car enthusiasts, really. Yeah. But the, the Ford Mustang, it's just Americana, it isn't is. it? You think yes, about it is. And, and from the classic look, that, that gentleman's got it. That, that's a, like 67, 66. Yep. I'm always off by one year. My, my brain's always off by one year. Well, but from 66 uh, right on through, uh, I mean, they're still made, uh, trying them out just gorgeous today. It's over 50 years. And you guys, much like the, the vet club too, if there's a call for a charity or there's a way for you guys to help or give back, by golly, you're doing it. Yes, we are. We work closely with Bill Curry Ford and the uh, Tijuana Flats Just In Case O Foundation as well and always work with car shows for charity to help them out. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to try something special here. Let's see if this works. We're going to try to actually get all the cars started at once and get the engines revving. And then on Hibiscus Street here, it should uh, just echo in the, in the alleyway. But I will remind you that the car show is Saturday. starts at 10 a.m. Registration starts uh, earlier than that. But if you just want to come out and kick around and enjoy the, the cars, 10 a.m. Saturday all day on Turpin Ave. Uh, first Friday, don't forget that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, start.